How's it going, everybody? This is Rob Novacast back with another video for you guys. With this video, we'll be talking about Cowboy Bebop Netflix series, episode two for season one. Now, I'm gonna be honest. If there's one thing that I can, one good thing I can say about the show itself, is some of the fighting sequences are actually really good. I'm not gonna lie there. I'll give it credit for that. Um, but to kind of go over this episode, uh, it's called Venus Pop. Uh, they're going after a uh, bomber who uh, goes around blowing random buildings. And I guess, as it said on the show, they uh, have blown up about, I think at the very least, 8 to 10 on the top of my head. And it starts off with Spike and uh, Jet in a church waiting for to see if this guy will actually blow up the church sure enough he does but he doesn't uh he isn't contending to fight both uh spike and jet because at some point spike kind of bored decides to run off for a bit to uh use the bathroom and kind of waste time while jet is unfortunately left to fight him on his own and gets knocked out uh, Spike, on the ha other hand, uh, wait, again, wasting time, you go into the bathroom, uh, is attacked by a syndicate member who kind of worries himself a little bit, especially with the fact that now they know that he's alive. So he goes to an old contact who, to an extent, half-heartedly agrees to help him, although also very pissed that he pretended to be dead. But, above all, also helps Jet with the case that they're on where they're trying to hunt this guy down. On the offhand, we also have, uh, have Vicious, who, I'm not gonna lie, is a total bitch. Um, ends up being called off to the syndicate leaders, who, I'm not gonna lie, there's actually one actor, I can't remember his name on the top of my head, but he reminds me of this one that I really like. He's been in, in quite a few things. Uh, though, to an extent, I kind of... I don't know how to put it. Or kind of explain my thoughts. Because it, it was it was just kind of funny hearing his voice. And they, they're using, at least for the, the most part, especially when the, with the syndicate leaders or elders. Um, they're wearing kind of traditional I would say semi-traditional garb like in tra uh, Japanese tradition but wearing these over-exaggerated old man masks and the, the the actor I'm thinking about is white now I'm not going into a whole race thing it just it took me a second to uh, to recognize his voice because his voice is again it's really cool especially with, with him with you know the actor and the what some of the stuff he's been in but all in all really cool so pretty much going through everything jet and black or jet black i don't know why i said jet and black jet and spike basically are able to hunt the guy down the bomber who for the final fight is kind of embarrassing because his whole motif is uh his bombs are planted in teddy bears and to top it off they find out that the guy who basically has been you know at first they think that he's getting his uh, supplies from a uh, construction company but it turns out that they're, they have a guy that produces all of the supplies or at least the minerals used to make the bomb not only that, but the guy that supplies it is called Teddy. In fact, I think the a line from Spike uh, says it best where it's like, it can't be that. I think it was like something along the lines of it can't be that easy. Sure enough, yeah, it's the guy. They're able to track him down in his uh, cargo ship only to find out that, uh, one, he starts uh, leaving the orbit of the planet. Two, uh, the cock... Uh, cockpit i don't know why i said cock ship almost said cock ship but the cockpit 
of the ship gets destroyed by debris and the dude shows up in his whitey tidies and a bear mask I am dead fucking serious and unfortunately Jet unfortunately ends up stepping on a trap that they had previously uh, took notice of so to some degree they kind of or at least for the most part Jet in this in this position fucked up royally so going further than that we have a really cool fight while Jet is stuck standing on this uh, this trigger and they're able to defeat the teddy bomber I'm gonna call him the teddy bomber <laughs> cuz basically you guys get the picture so by the end of it we have a moment where uh, we have Spike switching places with our good buddy Jet Jet basically decides to or with Spiegel's help uh, takes the I guess finds a way to save Spike while also taking care of the bounty and we end the episode there all in all I will say it was a somewhat interesting episode um, we get a little bit of backstory with uh, with I guess if anything just a little bit more backstory in this version of Spike though for some reason and I don't think this is ever set up for the original show they keep calling him Fearless, which honestly is a really stupid name. And to a degree, I don't I don't get it. And I get the idea of like, you know, changing his name, but I don't think they ever gave him a moniker for the original show. That might just be me, but I don't think they ever gave him another name besides, you know, Spike Spiegel. Other than that, all in all, good good somewhat good episode with this. Um, and it just focused on, you know, Spike and Jet basically doing their thing. And to some degree, we get a good sense of, uh, backstory with, with our good buddy Spike. So, all in all, very interesting. So, with that, I don't think I have anything else I need to say. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. If you guys can... Uh, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below. As well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Rob Novacast signing off. I'm going, take care, and I will see you guys in the next video.